Yes, I know what you're thinking. How can I make a mixed media canvas with just four supplies? It's impossible, right? You need way more than that. And it was so easy and simple. I didn't even use paint or gesso, just four supplies. One stencil, gel medium, texture paste, and my new favorite products. But don't take my word for it, let me show you how. I'll be creating an 8x10 canvas, and the first thing I do is to add this Dress My Craft Transfer Me Sheet wooden background. You can cut these sheets to any size or just transfer them as is, and bend the edges. I love these transfers so much as they're so easy to apply, and that's why I partnered with Dress My Craft to sponsor this video. To apply the transfer, you just remove the acetate sheet and place it face down onto the canvas. Then spray the back and dab it with water. It needs to be really wet for the transfers to separate from the paper until the image released. Doesn't it look amazing? Just like real wood grain and it makes me feel as if I'm walking along a beautiful beach. I set my canvas aside to dry. It's best if you let it air dry as the transfer is made of plastic material and could warp when heated. While it was drying, I chose some images from other transfer sheets, like this wooden door and these vintage flowers. This whole canvas was inspired by this wooden door. As soon as I saw this door, it made me think of the book The Secret Garden, and I immediately wanted to create a secret garden of my own, with its own hidden entrance. I love imagining what's beyond that wooden door, a sacred place for my heart with the freedom to create for my soul. I chose not to transfer these images directly onto the canvas, although you can, and I will show you soon how to do this with other images. But I chose to transfer them onto the product insert for two reasons. One, I could then cut around them and move them around the page to figure out my composition and two, it would give them a 3D effect as the packaging is thicker like cardboard. Once I have all the images, I arrange them roughly onto the background, so I then know where to place other images like the bricks and the script writing, which I transfer directly onto the wood grain background. I make sure one of the sides is straight so it can line up with the edge of the canvas. Then I remove the acetate and place it face down onto the wood grain. I spray some water and dab it with a sponge until it releases. It is really cool that you can transfer images straight onto another transfer. It makes it easy to build layers, and most importantly, you have beautiful images to add to your mixed media projects, especially if you don't know how to draw. Once these extra images are transferred, I arrange the composition onto my canvas again. You might have to cut some of the flowers even further to aid with the arrangement. I usually take a picture with my phone at this point, so I remember where everything goes, in case I need to move it, which always happens, as I realize I needed a few more draping flowers. This time I didn't transfer them onto the packaging, but directly onto my canvas, as I wanted to give the illusion that they're falling from underneath the larger flowers. Some of the transfers are translucent, so when you transfer them, you only see the main image. However, if you want more opacity, then transfer them to a white background like I did with the first flowers. Once all the flowers are arranged, I glue everything with gel medium, or you can also use regular glue. Notice this is just my second type of supply since I started creating, as the transfers replace the painting part. And here's the third supply texture paste. I love this paper texture paste by Finabar and I start applying it to the edges of my canvas. You can add it with a brush or sponge but truthfully my favorite way is to use my finger as I can control the application better. It does get a little messy but what artist doesn't end up with messy hands? I also want it to look gritty so I lightly pounce my finger where I want to apply the paste. You can also use other texture paste or even heavy white gesso. Or if you don't have gritty paste, you can always add some sand to gesso to create this effect. The paste is opaque, so it remains white, which helps blend all the edges together. I apply it in between the flowers as well, to cover up the overlapping edges. 
It helps to blend everything while bringing the whole project to life. I could have left the project as is, but I wanted a little more texture. So using the same paste, I added some stenciling onto the background to give the canvas vertical movement. And I added a title from one of my printable quote sheets from Etsy. I have another video for you right here to show you how easy it is to use these transfer sheets in your projects. I even included all the mistakes I made the first time I used them and lots of helpful tips. I'll meet you right there.